Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Like always, I appreciate swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch a review. Uh, this evening, I'm going to feature one out of Platform Beer Company. Uh, this here is their Sun Surfer, the Byron Bay edition. So Sun Surfer is an IPA they have. This is a Byron Bay twist on it, and it says Australian Style Fruited India Pell L. Uh, notes are passion fruit, tropical, and citrus. Does give me the adjuncts on the back here. It says passion fruit puree. Uh, Australian galaxy and citra are the hops. So that's citra, one of my favorite hops there. Uh, let's see here. It gives the grains two row, melanoidin, uh, flaked oat, oat malt, and honey malt. And the ABV is 4.9% alcohol by volume, and the IBU is 39. So, if I crack this open, first off, artwork, 4 out of 5, okay? Gives me adjuncts, gives me all the um, ABV, the IBU, all the stuff that I like on there, okay? Uh, it's a plain Jane kind of um, can there, but it gives me that information that I like. Uh, so, Platform Beer Company, this is out of Cleveland, Ohio. So, before I get going on this... I've recorded this review already, and I had some technical difficulties. Uh, so, you know, that was a few days ago or a while ways back there. So I figured I'm going to go ahead. I uh, want to get another review of this done, hopefully recording correctly, and there's not any issues with this. I can get it uploaded because this is actually one for the summer, okay? You know, we're in uh, October now, and this was released, I think, in uh, May, June, um, when somewhere, somewhere in that time frame is when this was canned there. So uh, definitely got a, a few months on it. Um, everything should still be good. We should still have flavor. I know the one I had the other day uh, still had everything good on it. So I'm going to crack this open, get a pour on it. We'll try to do this review again. So if you're new, I hope like I hope you like what you see here. Hope you hit that notification bell down there. Hope you drop a comment. All right, so. About two fingers of a white head on top of this. Oh, what did I say the color was the other day? Pell. Uh, pe deep gold. Just a deep gold color to this. Drop that back there. Kind of hold it up there for you. Deep gold. Uh about, we start out about two fingers of head. Um, it's not going to stick around uh, too long. The other one, uh, the other night, didn't, uh, it didn't want to hang around too long either. Just a bunch of fish eyes, soapy, soapy bubbles popping away in there. So, let's get a nose on this thing. Uh, so, this, I get guava. Oh, yeah, I get this, just a pureed... Uh, tropical fruitiness to this what was the pureed what passion fruit puree oh yeah passion fruit that's thing guava i get guava and passion fruit those are two fruits i kind of get mixed up all the time i said guava but definitely passion fruit get to like a raw raw guava passion fruit aroma or a note to this notes off of this i do get a little bit some minor citrusy like ruby red grapefruit type of aromas coming off of this. Outside of that, just smells super juicy. It's just like a bunch of different juices and fruits mixed together. So, hey, let's get a drink on this thing. Oh, yeah. It's it's delicious. So, lighter bodied mouthfeel. 4.9% alcohol is what I said. Yes, so this drinks very much like a sour IPA. It says uh, Australian style fruited India Pale Ale. It's straight on. It's a combination of a session IPA and a uh, and like a sour ale, like a fruited sour. Very much like. Um, you know, like a like a sour IPA. I really haven't had a big a true sour IPA in a while, but this is very much like that. Just a soury IPA. Very thin on the body, but there is like there's like a a, 
a thin creaminess to it, if that makes any sense. Like there's, there's some substance there, it coats the tongue. It's very thin, but I can feel it coating the tongue. On the back end, just that sour, bitter fruit kicks in. Man, just a just a good beer. So, I picked this up for three dollars and ninety nine cents a six pack at the Jungle Gems uh, International Market in uh, Fairfield, Ohio, not the Cincinnati, Ohio location. I know I've talked about it quite a few time, uh, times here on the channel, but uh, this was a killer deal. Little, you know, getting late in the season for this style of uh, summer beer. But I couldn't pass it up for three ninety nine. It still has life in it. it. Still has legs in it. It's delicious. I couldn't imagine how much better uh, it would be, fresher. But just, just great, just great beer. As far as scoring this, I'm solid all day long. Four point two five out of five. Now, if it was July, August, ninety degrees, and this was pulled this out of cooler of ice, oh man, it would just be amazing. But hey, we're in October, and it's still pretty damn good. So. Hey, I hope you uh, hope you like what you're seeing here. I hope you become a subscriber. I hope you hit that notification bell down below and uh, drop a comment. Appreciate you watching.